Howdy guys, welcome back to another video of Mutiny Pirate Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. So today where I am at, I am in the southern part of the archipelago here. Yes, we are at the Horn Island. I need to collect some, you know, valuable resources in order for me to continue what I'm wanting to do with my base and upgrade some workstations and things like that. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to do a little bit of grinding. We'll have a bit of a chat, a bit of a chilled out little video today. So sit back, relax, and um, yeah, enjoy. So recently I just... Um, was looking over the old uh, notifications on the socials there and I believe there is a happy birthday in order so yes uh, mutiny has turned two years old at the time of this recording so it has been a couple of days uh, past since that but uh, yeah I wanted to extend a happy of happy birthday to uh, the team at Mutiny for doing what they're doing, um, improving the game constantly, updating constantly, and just staying um, basically active throughout the whole two years. So it's been a bit of, a, of an adventure, and I'm excited to see what the game has uh, in store, well, what the game has in store for us. Um, hopefully, you know, we'll see some, uh, some advancements, um, you know, some new uh, additions to the game, all that sort of good stuff. So, yeah, hopefully we can, um, you know, see what the, um, uh, what the uh, timeline looks like and what will, uh, you know, the game will give us. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, look, I've sort of speculated over the, uh, over the course of a few videos, you know, thinking what I would love to see, uh, you know, in the game. And I'm always... Uh, always thinking about it constantly as well when I'm playing the game you know what can be added to this game or what will the game have in store for us when the time is right I mean as you can see there's a lot of open space here on the actual current map itself this is quite I would say that this is a little bit more busier okay um, you know that you could probably have something out here I would imagine um, but you know look every, everywhere else except for here, around here um, a little bit spaced out I reckon there's going to be at least one, maybe if not two zones here. And I reckon there's going to be expansion over here, you know, in the uh, updates to come. That is my speculation. So that's what I'm thinking. That's my thoughts. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below as well. What are your thoughts about that? Where do you see this game heading? What would you like to see in the game, uh, more importantly? And yeah just pop them in and hopefully you know some of these will come to fruition i mean you know it's not to say that they will i mean it's always speculation right and it's always something that we would love to you know think about and you know what what type of hopes that we want to um have you know for the game um we always wanted to do well we wanted to be successful because we're investing our time and playing the game and we always want to improve and you know try to do as much as we can so yeah so that's my um that's my input there what what i would like to see i'd love to see a pirate port like a a place where it's common area where <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> Ooh, try to uh clear the old throat there but i would love to see a common place like a a common uh shipping port where you guys or where we all can congregate in one you know safe space yeah you know so there's no um attacking or anything like that of that nature <clears throat> we can have some i don't know we can have some new um new npcs you know offer us different quests things like that i would love to think that that might be something that could happen in the um in the updates to come um I reckon that could be a possibility. That's just my, um, that's, just, that's just my, you know, subjectiveness to it. I feel like that's something that could potentially happen. Um, but yeah, I'm just thinking that could be something that would be awesome to see. Um, oh, got a new badge. There you go. But yeah, that's just my thoughts. Um, that's something I'd love to actually see. I reckon that could be something that could be um, transformative to the game. And um, yeah, I just reckon that could be. Oop, let me just get the heal on because this dude is gonna be a pain in the in my side. Oop, come here, come here, get here, get here. Do not run away, do not run away, do not run away. Ah, he got, he got away. Ah, uh, I, I could have got him. I reckon I could have got him. I think I just um, 
There was like a, a split second of he hesitation on my part, but look, what can you do? It is what it is. Uh, yeah, so I reckon a, an archipelago port or, you know, like just some sort of pirate port uh, in general. And I reckon that could be something that could, um, yeah, that could be a thing. Um, it could, the port could be a, an expansion point, you know, like um, to the next area that I'm specul speculating beforehand, uh, where all those clouds are situ situated. Because if you go to all four corners of the map, that the bottom left corner is the only one that gives you more clouds that you can see, as opposed to um, the other three corners. So that's the theory that I'm thinking. Um, I reckon it's got something to do with the um, the potential upgrade to your to your boat. Okay, so I'm thinking at the moment I've got a level nine boat. Uh, level ten is obviously the max. So I reckon that could be the gateway. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get out of here. That's it. Uh, yeah, so I think that could be the way for them to do it, possibly. Um, it, it sounds like a good idea. I reckon I reckon it could be a good idea. Um, hopefully that could be something that could be implemented. But, ooh, hello, I haven't had one of these drop on you guys for a while. Um, we'll take those. I'll leave. Oh, you know what? Should I take them? No, I've got heaps. I've got a whole bunch of linen as well. I don't think I need the, the linen, to be honest. Yeah, so, not for the moment. Um, yeah, so we'll hold off. If anything, I'll be able to get it quite quickly. It's not going to take me that long or anything like that. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, sorry, uh, going back to a course. Yeah, I reckon that could be, um, I reckon that could be a good shout. I think that could be a good, um, you know, introduction to a new element to the game a new expansion to the game because i reckon the game is ready for set expansion so it's two years old i reckon the, the next the next update has to be something mega and i feel i got a good gut feeling about it um it's going to happen sooner rather than later uh no the developers have not said anything to us content creators or me specifically uh to my knowledge but um that's what i'm thinking that's what I'm thinking. I don't want to deal with any of these dudes here, so we're going to head out, and I'm going to go back to the Horned Island. But yeah, that's. I think that's possibly that's got to be a a good way of doing it. I reckon. Oop, no, we don't want to spend money on that. But I don't know. What do you guys think? I've done this before in a few videos, as you can see. Here, boom, mega expansion here, right? And then you go up here. Not so much. Not so much. They look ve fairly similar in proportion, as does that. So I reckon something's cooking up here, guys. And it's been like this for quite some time as well. So I'm, I'm, I'm guessing they're working on it. They're whatever they're doing. It has to be some sort of form of expansion. I reckon. That's just my, that's just my thought process behind it. Um, but yeah, look, I reckon somewhere here there could be another another zone. I reckon there could be another lighthouse. Who knows? Um, but like I said, with with my boat, I've got the catch. See, I've got one uh, bottom row here blocked out. That's just due to the fact that I can't upgrade it because there's a specific part that's not available in the game uh, as of yet. So I think that's going to be what is required for you to possibly um sail these parts of the ocean so because i believe if i don't quote me on this but i haven't i don't have it here in front of me obviously but um i believe it tells you in the description when once you upgrade it you can sail to the ends of the earth or the map or something of that description so yeah that's what i'm thinking is going to happen but yeah that's just my this is my craziness when i get on one of these little tandems here i i go nuts um, for people that have been watching me for quite some time, you guys know. You guys know already. You guys know how I love to speculate, what I like to theorize and things like that. So, yeah, hopefully you guys sort of enjoyed that, <laughs> um, that little uh, ramble, discussion, however you want to sort of take it. I mean, it's obviously one-sided because it's just me talking to you guys. And I guess I'll get some feedback from you guys when you um, respond in the comments. So respond in the comments guys respond oh no i'm sort of maxed out here i'm gonna need to yeah i'm gonna need to get rid of some things let's just drop that there and oh, come on 
come on um, I need to go back to my boat <laughs> and drop a few things off so we can continue looting so yes I have been at it for a little bit so the reason why that I'm here and I haven't actually really discussed this yet so let's um, oops let's go ahead and talk about that now so effectively what I'm here to do is I need hemp so I've got the hemp here so hemp and then we got hemp seeds now these are hard to come by guys I'm not gonna lie to you they do require a bit of grinding in order for you to actually um, procure said resource because they're not as available as all the other tier 5 as you can see I've got a decent amount of rosewood and that's tier 5 and that did not take all that long for me to actually uh, obtain whereas uh, something like hemp and let alone hemp seeds uh, it's it's proving to be quite difficult so I'm making multiple runs uh, to collect and to just grind and gather so the reason for this is a lot of the upgrade stations and a lot of the workstations at the moment uh, we're talking about storage containers uh, we're talking uh, just your general workstations and whatnot they require uh, steel tools and part of the recipe for steel tools get out of my no get out of here okay heal 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 what are you doing what are you doing okay Okay, I'm gonna block you here because you're gonna run, you're gonna bail on me. Oh, yes you are. Ah, can't do that because you, you ran through the map. It was either one way or the other. He was gonna either bail one way or the other. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna take... Uh, ooh, nice, nice. That was a bit of a risk. Risk paid off. I'm not gonna go for the, uh, the Jasmine, so... Yeah, um, I reckon that'll probably be in my best interest not to engage but anyway um, I try to do things where I get the least amount of resistance that's just the way that I do things I am getting close to level 70 and when I do that I'm also going to dump everything back into spirit and I think at level 50 I should be safe in these uh, parts here uh, question mark except for the purples uh, the purples are still going to be um, more powerful so I think I need level 55 spirit or level 60 if I'm not mistaken come on come on come on come on come on okay cool just want to take the one animal on there we go uh, yeah so uh, going back to it uh, so I need hemp so yeah so the thing about hemp is that it, it is quite difficult to, uh, to come by and just to pick up general resources so in order for me to um, you know acquire a sufficient amount I just need to keep visiting this joint that's the problem and now I'm gonna get a whole bunch of oh no come back ah I wanted the bull I wanted the bull um, and that's the other one so next to hemp uh, taking out these oh no okay getting these bulls and especially getting them on their own so I can actually attack these fellas is a bit of a task but the reason why that I want these bulls and I'm glad that they've updated this to make this so since the new animals uh, were released is that you've got the clear definition of which animal is going to have which uh, resource that is a massive help for me um, beforehand it was just all bulls in this part here and you don't know which animal or which bull is going to have which um, uh, resource whether it's going to be uh, the fine uh, hide or, or the perfect hide whatever it's called um, but yeah so that had been a bit of an annoyance on my part but look now that we um that we have that update we're good it's a very clear definition so i can focus on that and limit my my resource usage to an absolute minimum uh what i'm doing here is while i'm talking to you guys should i take this at 3 30 you know what take it take it that's what it's there for right um because that's gonna go bye bye so i may as well use that up and oop Oh, hello come back come back come back come back I'm just gonna run parallel with you and then let's just do a bit of a sneakeroo I'm gonna get two of these yep I knew, I knew it okay I'll quickly heal oh get an idea <laughs> there we go so I'm getting a little bit of um, resources here so yeah so you got the fine height and then it's the perfect height or oh, superior height sorry uh, so superior height is what I'm after but yeah so that's is the struggles right that is the major issue and what's sort of slowing down production I guess I mean for a lot of uh, veteran players and players that are a lot more hardcore than myself and I don't consider myself that hardcore but I know there's a lot of players that are 
above me, especially their um, commitment to the game. So, um, yeah, it's uh, I'm getting there myself, um, as you can see. I'm sort of at a point where I've pretty much got just about everything that I need. Um, everything's sort of maxed in terms of uh, stations and stuff like that. I'm just getting the final bits to the pieces of the puzzle. And I think from there, honestly, with the amount of stuff that I have and the resources that I possess at the moment, I guess my next focus is more or less just going to be about base improvements, really. And I'm just going to um, build upon what I have already. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing any sort of massive renovations or anything like that. I think I've already... Um, uh, uh, sealed that fate so to speak where whereby I'm just effectively um, I'm going to be I've already committed and wedded to the design that I have and I think it's just more from a um, an expansion proposition like what else am I going to um, build out and um, you know just continue to uh, improve the base um, you know for its own sake and I think that's basically where things are at at the moment um, I might just, I may do a secondary layer of expansion because um, I've already got a, a, th a thought in mind how I'm going to sort of do it. And yeah, so I think once I sort of get everything else up and running, I think I could just focus on that because the more that I uh, try and focus on too many things, I'm not going to get anywhere uh, quick enough, I, you know, in just in my hum humble opinion. And I think that's, you know, I think that's just a, an issue that a lot of people have as well, where they, um, all well and good of course, but I mean like they, we focus on why, way too many things and progression, it feels like it's, it's a lot, it hurts us a lot more, it, it, I feel like it takes a lot longer for us to, um, you know, to do certain things and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, so I think my perspective is that I want to be ready for whatever comes. And I feel like we're, we're in this low period now that we can just sort of focus on, you know, improving our bases, workstations, um, you know, and getting all the mandatory stuff ready for what's to come. And I reckon this is what, you know, after two years, I reckon this is going to be something huge that's going to be coming. And I feel like it's going to be massive. So for, you know, for this new year of uh, Mutiny, so that's what I'm thinking. No, so it's, the game's already two years old. So we're into year three, effectively. So yeah, I'm just interested to see what's to come. And that is that for that. Um, I think I can just take that. Yeah, beautiful. And time of this recording, we've got less than a week for the Halloween event to finish off. And yes, I have been collecting a few bits and pieces here and there. It is a bit of a resource suck, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's good, but in terms of getting the, uh, the coinage... Um, for these, uh, you know, specialty one-off uh, items and and the, I guess, the the potential success rate of getting tubes and whatnot is, um, you know, I wouldn't say it's, uh, well, what's probably the best way of saying it? It's good in a sense because, I mean, it just encourages you to continue with the event. But when you, when you sort of start to see it's sort of getting up to, you know, 3,000, 4,000 coins and things like that, I think it... For me, I think it just puts me off a little bit where I think um, it's just sort of, you, you know, you, you hit a wall, right? And when the walls hit, oop, 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 there's Hulk. All right, Hulk. Come here. I want you to come over to me. Oh, you, I th you thought you could just do a bit of a hit, right? Come here, buddy. Come on. All right. Boom. 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 Yeah, look, you didn't run away. Um, beautiful. I'm going to take this and... Can I... No, I don't want to... Do I still have a full... Still got full armor. Okay. Um, okay, so I've got linen. Oof, I've got a lot of linen. I'm not going to take that. I'll take that with me. And that I will just leave. And yeah, we'll just leave that there. Beautiful. So yeah. Um, so yeah, going back to it. Like, I like these events. Don't get me wrong. They're good to start off with. But for me, I lose a bit of steam. I lose a little bit of momentum, I lose a bit of, um, you know, engagement to it. It does get quite repetitive, which is fine. I mean, that's what it's supposed to do, right? Uh, you know, that's part of grinding. So, hence why I'm doing this today. <laughs> um, do I want to take on these guys? I'm just going to go over this way. And just pick up him. And just get that. Okay, very good. Yeah, so... 
Don't get me wrong, like I've done a, a few events here and there, but I just haven't done a great deal. Ooh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop stat stop hitting me. No, stop. Stop. And I just hate it when you got less than 10 HP. And you can't dispatch them. Um Actually, you know what would be a cool little feature? The ability for you to hot swap out your um your weapon and you know go back to like fist the cuffs for a second just so you can take out that last bit of HP from that um, from that NPC or enemy or whatever that'd be pretty neat but yeah um, <laughs> yeah sorry like I always do when talking when discussing things I always ramble um, but yeah look I think for me um, we've got six days left it's a cool event don't get me wrong it is quite hard and quite tedious to do but if you want to get those, um, you know, sought after items and things like that, if you want to get those specialty tubes, and I think that's what a lot of people would be, you know, wanting to uh, get their hands on. Um, yeah, I th you know, you got to obviously pay the price, play the game, and um, get what you what you can try and get out of it. But that's just, you know, my opinion. Um, we've got this ball here. Let's just try and take him out. Yeah, but for me, like I said, I do it, and I do it enough to, you know, I, I guess satisfy. Ah, oh, damn. Uh, satisfy um, myself in terms of, you know, I think I've done everything that I needed to have done, you know, with the event, which is cool. But yeah, that's just me. That's just my opinion. Uh, let's just take you out. Look at that. We're getting quite a bit of stuff now, which is good. Um, okay, so that was the other ball. He ran up that way, which is a bit of a bummer. But yeah, look, just trying to get these um, hemp ropes because that's all I'm producing I'm just producing hemp ropes I'm not a, even doing cloth or anything like that at this point I feel like it's not even worth it um, to do cloth and fabric rolls and I say that only because you know if you want to start creating um, uh, officer clothing and things like that if you've actually upgraded the workstation for it um, then yeah go for it but if you haven't like me um, I just don't see the um, the need just yet and I say that because once there's updates to the game there's going to be new zones the availability for tier 5 is going to open right up uh, to the point where yes it's going to be a very hard zone to get into but the rewards are going to be there and the stock levels for each you know demanding tier 5 resource should be available there's going to be harder you know uh, steel um, zone there's going to be you know uh, meteorite i think it was um granite uh what else is there uh, the rosewood well rosewood's quite heap so there's not there's really not a lot of um issues with rosewood per se but when you get things like um like the hide uh like the the hemp in general you're just going to be a pain in my side but yeah so i think that's um i think that's just going to be given once um, once that all happens but when when will it happen no clue no clue whatsoever but anyway guys i think that's going to go ahead and do it here i appreciate you guys um sitting back chilling having a good time with the video here let me know what you thought about um everything in the comment section down below what do you think that the game is going to do now that it's uh two years old um is it going to be um is, it, is there going to be huge room for expansion let me know is there going to be anything that you'd like to see in the game um really he literally ran away and then he kills me that's disappointing I'm really annoyed about that really more than anything well and that's the, and that's my other issue that I've been having that has been that has actually been the second time that's happened to me and now that I've broken my good uh, reliable Corsairs bag um, yeah that's uh, very disappointing let's go ahead and just drop everything in and yeah I'm gonna have to lick my wounds here with this one guys build up a new bag build up a new uh what do you call it get some more uh grinding happening and all that sort of good stuff and yeah that's pretty much it I know we just went a little bit over time here guys but yeah um look it is what it is what do you do anyway guys I am going to leave it here appreciate you guys stopping by checking out the video as always make sure you leave a like comment down below and if you guys are new to, new to the channel or not and you, ha and you haven't done so already just subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos alrighty guys take it easy and I will catch you guys in the next one